2012, number 91. So things to watch out for. They give you selected values of the derivative. Now, you cannot assume what happens between 3 and 1. A lot of you assume, oh, it's pos it stays positive between these two. How do you know? How do you know this doesn't go from 3 to negative 100 back up to 1? So don't assume things that's happening between. You do not know. Okay, so they're looking for what must be true. Not can be, but must be. So we'll read the first one. They're saying f is concave up. In your brain, you should immediately think the second derivative is positive or the first derivative is increasing. Okay, does that have to be true for this? Um, like I said, you don't know what's happening between these. It could be increasing, decreasing, and back to one. You don't know, but to be true, f must always be increasing. In fact, you know it's not true. It goes from 3 to 1. It has to decrease. So it cannot be true that it's concave up for that whole region. Next key, inflection points. You should think the second derivative changes signs. And it'd have to change signs twice. Okay, and I'll talk about this in a second here. I'm going to come back to this one. This one's going to take a little more thinking, okay? So next one, f is increasing. Well, to be increasing, f prime, here's what you have to think, f prime is positive, always. And you might think, oh, look, it's always positive. Again, you don't know what's happening between. It could go from 3 to negative back up to 1. You don't know, so this does not have to be true. They're looking for a must be true. No critical points. Okay. No critical points mean that the derivative is never zero or undefined. Now, again, this might be tempting. You're like, oh, it's always positive. Therefore, yeah, you don't know what's happening. One thing I'll tell you, it's polynomial. So we know it's always defined. Polynomials always kind of look like this. There's never any vertical asymptotes or um, holes or anything. So we don't have to worry about that. But it could go from 3 to 0 back up to 1. So since you don't know what's happening between, you cannot assume there's no critical points. Um, at least two relative extrema. Must it have at least two relative extrema? A relative extrema could be relative max or relative min. That means the derivative has to change from positive negative or negative positive. Does that have to happen in this situation? No, because if you look, it's always positive. Now, it might have two relative extrema. Now, if this were negative, then it would have at least two. Because it went from positive to negative at some point between those. And then from negative to positive. So at some point, it had to change signs. But we don't have any negatives there, so that doesn't have to be true. So by default, it's going to be B, but let's see why this is true. Okay? Follow the logic. F prime has to decrease at some point between 3 to 1, right? So let me do this. F prime has to decrease at some point there. I don't know where, but it has to. Okay? And then let's look at this. It goes from 1 to 4. F prime has to increase. Okay, I forgot to say, if F prime is decreasing, at some point the second derivative must be negative. And if F is prime is increasing, at some point the second derivative has to be positive. Okay? And then once again, here from 4 to 7... F prime, at some point between there, has to be increasing, right? Therefore, the second derivative must be positive. But check this out. If the derivative goes from 7 to 5, right? I don't know, it might go up and down a few times, but I know at some point, F prime must be decreasing, meaning at some point, the second derivative must be negative, okay? 
And so at some point, the second derivative must be negative. At some point, the second derivative must be positive. It had to change signs in between. Therefore, there had to be at least a point of inflection there, right? Now, from here, we see the second derivative was positive. And in this region, at some point, the second derivative had to be negative. So if it was positive at some point between there and negative at some point between there, at some point, it had to change signs. So there's my second point of inflection. So the answer is B.